Meaningful monitoring for people with type 2 diabetes. Motivating yourself to self-monitor. I hate doing these blood sugar checks all the time. They're a constant reminder that I've got diabetes. Know what you mean. I used to think this. However, once I started to understand the numbers, it really helped me to stay on track with my diabetes and feel good. It's finding times that work for you. You might not have to check every day. Just at the right times and enough to get the full picture of what's going on. What makes your levels rise or fall? Yeah, but I forget. I can never remember when I'm supposed to do it. I just set an alert on my phone. Great tip. But it's a bit of a hassle to do checks when I'm out, in public. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. I plan my checking times for when I can get a bit of privacy. The meter is small and easy to carry around, and I can usually find somewhere to do it without attracting attention. Yeah, that's true. Though it's not like it's the only thing I have to think about. Hmm. It can be tricky fitting it around the other things in your life. Unless you plan out a proper schedule beforehand. That's what I do. It's not so bad then. Maybe your healthcare team can help. My doctor doesn't seem to take notice of the readings. I'm sure they will be interested. Have you asked for an appointment to discuss them? Not yet. There you go then. So what should I do with all my numbers? Just record them along with the other information and remember to take them to your appointment. They'll explain what to do if your levels are too high or too low and you get more confident to manage yourself as time goes on. It's a good idea to write it all down so you don't forget. Great idea. I also find it can hurt a bit sometimes, the finger pricking. And sometimes it's hard to get blood. Any ideas to help with that? Maybe you need to adjust the lancet to reset the depth of the pricker. Try changing which part of your finger you do it on. The side is least painful. Ask the nurse to check your technique. I warm up my hands beforehand. It improves blood circulation to my fingertips. That's helpful. Another thing is, I get all worried if my readings are high. It makes me feel like I've done something bad. Well, you haven't. So long as you know what to do when you do get a high reading or a low one, you'll be fine. The important thing is to do the checks. OK. It's just I often feel like the readings aren't right. I don't see the numbers as good or bad, right or wrong. It's just information that I use to help me decide what to do. And when I'm not sure, I can easily share the records I keep with my nurse, so we can discuss together. It's just to help you, after all. Thanks. It certainly helps to chat about it. And, and so, so say, say all, all of us. us. <laughs> <laughs> Visit the website to watch all the videos in our series to help you understand how to manage your diabetes.